Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show and explain this Wild Badger 40 volts lawn mower. It's an advanced, very quiet electric lawn mower with a large battery. It has a very efficient brushless motor and you can use it for mulching and also for backing. So we have all the functions which we need. So I'm going to show you all the details, how to assemble it and then how to use. It seems to be easy to assemble. This is how I got it. You can see there are only very few parts. I just took it out of the box a couple of minutes ago and I have the battery already charging here. So the battery can charge while I'm assembling the other parts. Everything looks really good, solid. I mean, of course, it's not a super large lawnmower. I wouldn't recommend to use this as the only lawnmower for a full acre. But if you have a smaller lawn or you need something for smaller areas where you cannot go in with a larger lawn mower, then this could be perfect. In the last couple of years, I've been using a gas lawn mower, but I'm done with it. It's too much effort for maintenance with the gas, with the oil changes. And I almost had some huge accident with some leaking gas almost causing a fire so i'm done with that this is the way to go in 2023 so i'm showing you the parts here and then we are doing some real lawn mowing of course we get this grass collector and then in the back we have the opening and we have also a mulch insert here which you can use so we can mulch it or we can collect the grass in the container the wheels are in a decent size, I would say, solid build. And we have the handlebar, which comes in two pieces. So it's dual foldable in a very small space. So pretty much the only thing which we have to mount is the handlebar. And this is also very easy. So here we have the lower part of the handlebar. We have some marker here and we have two markers here for the two positions. So we have to align this marker here in position two or position one. So here I'm going with position one, but I can move it out and secure it also in position two, but I cannot secure it in any other position. So that's pretty easy. So I'm going with the higher position here and now we can secure it from outside with this large screw. That's also pretty cool that you don't need any tools. Very easy to do. And then we connect the lower part with the upper part of the handlebar with just one screw here. Make sure it's properly aligned. You can choose two lengths. I'm going here is a shorter version where we have a little bit more overlapping. So we just add this washer here and here inside we have like a knot with a thread. So we align it here and start closing in a little bit. Not too much. Doesn't have to be fully closed, just a little bit and then try and you can see now we have proper lock and then we can add these cable holders. I'm placing one on the lower handlebar and one on the upper handlebar. Just feed the cable like that and then you push it over the handlebar. And so after only charging this huge battery block for 60 minutes, it is fully charged. This is an awesome thing. So this one large battery is actually already enough. Of course, you can buy replacement batteries, but because it's charging so fast, it's actually not needed. And the full battery can last for up to 30 minutes of cutting, of course, depending on the height and the density of the grass. And so I have it outside. What's really cool is how lightweight this thing here is it's super easy to lift up to add the battery is very easy we have these rails underneath the battery then we lift up this cover and slide the battery in you can see it has a lot of space even for larger batteries and so we close it again on this side we have a super easy height adjustment we need to do it only in one spot and all the other wheels will be adjusted automatically so we just pull it out and then we can go very low or super high i've seen such height adjustment with some other mowers which were just minimal here we have a really large range you can see really nice when we are finished we can untighten it here on both the sides a little bit also here and push the handles a little bit to the outside and then we can easily fold the handle to the front but that's not everything because we can open these safety handles and then we can fold the upper part on top of it and so after removing the grass container 
can put it on top and so everything is very small, super compact, easy to store. But now of course we want to make it ready to mow and so we have basically two options, we can mulch or we can back the grass. So we open this here and if you just want to mulch you can insert this part here very easy from the top and close it and then we are ready to go but if you want to back the grass then you can remove this mulching part just lift it straight up remove it and add the grass container we have these two metal holders just lift it on top of these holders very easy close the opening we also have this indicator flap which shows when the container is full. It has a nice built-in safety mechanism so we have to push here and then we can pull the trigger. And as you can see it's pretty quiet, absolutely not loud. Huge relief for all the people who have been using a gas mower till now. Cuts absolutely awesome. You can see the result, only two lines and it has collected already a lot and it was super easy, no hard pushing, even though of course it's not a self-propelled mower, but it was super easy because it's so lightweight and it has cut everything really nicely. And so I'm doing the same thing here also with the mulching. And so it has also done a great job with the mulching. I have removed the battery, of course. We have to do that every time when we do something here, so maintenance. And so I can show you that here from underneath, really sharp knife, easy, lightly moving. And it looks like it's very well designed. You can see there is no grass sticking anywhere. Now what I notice is that it does some automatic speed and strength adjustment you can see. Now it's pretty much running idle but when I go into the thicker grass it starts speeding up and applying more strength. So yeah, that's it regarding the power. So I've been able to mow exactly for 15 minutes in very high Southern St. Augustine grass and it was absolutely no problem. Everything worked really, really good. I'm super happy. Here you can also see an overview of the result. You can see pretty large area and I've been able to cut about 90% of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I could take a break, charge the battery, maybe have a coffee, go out and mow the rest. And after I finished mowing, I've been checking the battery temperature. It was a little bit warm, but definitely not hot. I don't know if they are cooling it actively or if it's just because of these nice large openings. What we can do, we can put it back and let the charger check on the temperature if it's okay to charge it now or later when we get this one single red LED then it's still too warm. We can leave it like that and it will start charging automatically as soon as it has reached a lower temperature. And so it took quite a while till it started to charge but you definitely don't have to remove it even when it's hot you can put it on the charger and then it's usually showing red and after some time it goes into green blinking which means it's charging and when it's steady green then it's fully charged. Of course that means that you have to wait a little bit, you cannot charge it directly after fully using but on the other hand we have quite some safety built in which extends the lifetime of this battery and so it has started charging a couple of minutes ago, I'm still using this stopwatch here and so now it's finished charging uh, but unfortunately I missed the start a little bit and also the end so I think it was a little bit less maybe one hour 45 minutes or so would be my guess so it was definitely more than one hour but maybe it was because it was still a little bit worn from the mowing process but it's still much faster than some other large batteries which I have. For example for my leaf blower which takes up to six hours for full charge so that's definitely much faster here. I had already some other electric mower 
but they were really heavy, didn't cut good, stopped after short time. This one definitely much better, so I can give you a full recommendation. And so if you are interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.